Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing very well. So for another um, video idea, I thought I'm going to sorry, I'm going to declutter and sort out my drawers and my clothes and just have a bit of a clean, see what's underneath my bed because we all shove stuff underneath our bed and then can't just forget about it for like a year. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sort out stuff in my drawers, which you can probably see all the mess that I've already started to create. Um, yeah. I'm gonna listen to some music, so this will probably be on a sort of fast, fast pace, which is cool. I think that'd be more interesting for you. Um, but yeah, just if you want to help me declutter my clothes, that'd be great. <laughs> um, and it's okay, just thought I'd explain the clothes situation in this room. Me and Tom have two drawers each of this, which is four drawers, and we have one of these each as well. So these are mine. I've got pants and so pants, bras, socks shorts and skirts and that bottom one was t-shirts but i think i'm gonna make a gym kit and then this are now these are now all my t-shirts where my gym kit used to be some trousers and then yeah so i've just sorted that one out hey, does anyone else like always swap their drawers around like i always swap around the items that are in my drawers i don't know why i don't know if it's just like a weird thing that i do but you know like i said i'm gonna put Tops used to be in this bottom drawer, this empty one. Um, I'm now going to put gym kit in it. Okay, yeah, so like I said, gym kit, shorts and skirts, which apparently I'm running low on, so I'm gonna need to purchase some more. <laughs> Any excuse. This one is tops which i have quite a lot of to be honest which kind of surprises me and then these are just a spare like leggings like sports leggings um pjs i might go through this one now And that is another drawer complete. Um, probably should turn this off whilst I'm talking. Okay, so underneath my bed is where I, and I'm sure absolutely everyone, likes to store some things that they don't have places for. So yeah, I have a few boxes under here which have shoes in. Bear in mind, it's probably shoes that I've not touched in about a year, maybe. Okay, so yeah, one box of shoes. Two boxes of shoes. Some of these I am trying to get rid of just on my Depop. So if you don't follow me on my Depop, I will link it below so you can sort of see some of the stuff and maybe pick it up. It's all very affordable, very sort of good condition, affordable stuff. So if you like anything, maybe check that out. These I used to love, but I literally, they're such perfect condition. At Nike Air Max whatever's these are with the bubbles i used to love these but i haven't worn them for ages and they still look basically brand new we love that these are like air force ones just in that sort of brown suede these are really nice and i'm gonna keep these i just haven't worn them for ages probably because they were under my bed and i didn't even know it some different boots oh my god these used to be my all-time fave they're like pony hair leopard print boots i used to wear these all the time they were like my favorite i got so many compliments on them all the time but i have not worn these in such a long time now how cute are they they're in such good condition because i used to wear them loads like i'll put those on my depot these right they're going in the bin sorry i also look super slobby in a t-shirt and joggers but what else do we live in these days these boots i got last year last winter and I absolutely loved them. Uh, that western style boot with the cool heel, look how cool this heel is. Um, 
in a sort of burgundy snake print. These are from Topshop. I think I probably will keep these up those because I wore them loads last year. These I thought were super cute, but I don't think I've ever worn them. <laughs> They're sort of like blue stripey Zara heeled boots. I don't know why I never wore them, but I think they're really cute. I obviously didn't wear them for a reason, you know, so what's the point in keeping them? These were my favourite sandals of all time last year, and I wore them to death. I just give them a good wash. These are Doc Martens, I don't know what they call them, but they're thick like sandals. I wore these all the time last year. These are like my go to summer shoes. Oh, nice. have I are, have I, have, have, uh, Havana's, the flip flops, you know. Great shoes, they're absolutely fine. Gonna keep them for a holiday if I go on one this year, that is. Look at how cute these are, they're like super smart, little small heeled boots. These are just from Primark in like that paint and sort of light pink nude shade. I might keep these if I need to go to like anything smart or if I need to look relatively smart for any reason. I might keep these. They used to absolutely live in back in the day. You know, with a little bubble. Nike Air Max used to be my all time favourite shoe. Um, and I used to wear them to school and work and things like that. So I think I might keep these. But I also might try and sell them because I don't wear them and I haven't worn them for years. But they're still in really, really good condition. So I might try and sell these. But yeah. So that is quite good, I think. I've just managed to basically downsize two boxes into one, which is great. Um, I'll show you what I'm gonna keep. These are the shoes that I'm keeping from these boxes. Way more in my dressing room. So we might have to go in, <clears throat> sort those out. <laughs> these are just a few that I kept underneath my bed for whatever reason. This is the box of stuff that I'm gonna try and sell, or get rid of, or just give away to people, maybe to the charity. I take a lot of stuff down to the charity shops. Um, yeah, so that's that box. I feel like we ought to go into my dressing room and try and attempt it in there but i just don't because <laughs> i always obviously wear the stuff that's in there i'm so bad about trying to get rid of it but i'm going to attempt to try and declutter today especially just for the sake of this video as well <laughs> this is like my 10th cup of green tea of the day i swear it's my favorite drink other than coffee under coffee green tea the best okay so i tried to show you my dressing room as you come in hopefully you can't hear that noise out there apologies i'm having the hallway redone so that's why it's very noisy um hence also all this clutter because i can't put it in the hallway anyway this is my this is my coat rail me and tom share this rail and then that's his coats so this section are my clothes and this section is tom's clothes if you look <laughs> carefully we have very neatly um hidden some things underneath the clothes this is all my shoes i think all of these are my shoes besides the gigantic ones um and heels oh there's a sock there i've got sake. <laughs> heels and behind these you sort of like hidden things very nicely in here so you can't see them but yes this is what I'm going to try and do today. I'm going to try and just look through it, organise it, maybe tidy this room up a little bit, try and get rid of that suitcase because it's very yeah. annoying. Put it somewhere else. <laughs> um, and just try and tidy up this room and see what I've got in here. Because, I mean, I tend to end up forgetting what I've got because it's hidden somewhere else, you know? I'm sure everyone does this. So I'm going to get to it and try and look through these clothes, try and organise some things, declutter, get rid of some stuff. I mean, I know now we're coming into spring, summer, um, although I know we can't go out, blah, blah, blah. we still got to look forward to something. we still got to look ahead. Like spring, summer fashion is going to come in. It will come. Um, so it's time to sort of put cut some of the coats away for the winter and see if we can make room for some spring come summer clothes which is very exciting and something that I'm looking forward to 100% even if I have to stay inside it will still stay inside in my nice spring <laughs> summer clothes you know so let's get to decluttering this <laughs>
Okay, so I just thought I'd show you quickly what I've been sorting out. So these are jeans and skirts. At the moment, I've been loving like jeans and a nice top like that. I love that at the moment. So I've got quite a few pairs of jeans here. I sort of double them up on the hanger so they don't get too thick so it doesn't get all like clumped up, do you know what I mean? Um, skirts, like I said, some trousers, and then we've got sort of going out wear about here. As you can see, I wear a lot of black um, on a night out. This is, yeah, this is sort of going out, going out wear. Um, and then these are sort of, I don't know, tops and stuff that I can't obviously fold up. So we've got a couple of dresses and nice tops in like this section. Sorry if you've got like major OCD and this is freaking you out, but obviously it's not color coordinated or anything like that. Apologies. Um, and then this is all jumpers and knitwear that obviously I can't fold up either. And yeah, I don't really have that many clothes in here. And this is making me feel like I need to buy more. Because I have more space to fill up. <laughs> that is my issue. Um, I just fill up space. But I did get some stuff for a Depop pile. And I have got some stuff for just knit where it needs to go away for the year. Because obviously it's not it's not cold enough for thick, thick woolly jumpers. Um, so I need to try and put them away somewhere. I need to try and attempt my coat rail back there. But the only thing about sorting stuff out for me is that I don't know where I'm going to put it once I've sorted it out. I have a Depop bag in the living room, um, which has got some clothes in it and things that I'm selling on Depop as well as stuff that I'll take to the charity if it doesn't sell. If it doesn't, if it doesn't sell for a period of time, I just take it to the charity because I can't be bothered for it to just keep up space in there and I'd rather give it away. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and attempt the coats now. And then maybe try and get some stuff up on Depop. And I also need to try and attempt the shoes that are down there. So we got more for this video. Okay, so I hate to say this, but I wear all of my clothes, all of my coats even. Um, so I don't really want to get rid of any of them, to be honest. Okay, so I know I look a bit different because this is a different day, but I have actually finished. I did actually finish the decluttering maybe last night or the night of the video, or the night of the day I actually, the night of the day I actually filmed this video. Does that make any sense? Anyway, I have already tidied up, um, but I did think, I, I did think, uh, ugh. I thought, and uh, uh, oh my god, I had cats. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought a good idea to put into this video <laughs> would be to show you guys what my go to trainers are and what my go to shoes are. Because I thought this could be helpful maybe to people that don't really know what sort of essentials they should have in their wardrobe or like wardrobe staples that sort of last throughout time and throughout the year throughout seasons things like that i thought i'd just put in here quickly what my favorite go-to pieces are to be fair it could be clothes or shoes at this rate um yeah and i thought that would be an interesting clip to put in this video but i will show you how i've tidied up my shoes and how i've tidied up the rest of what i needed to put into this video um i'll try and put a before clip in here but we had this bit was all full of shoes and it was just full it was messy it was untidy now i have completely transformed it and tidied it we still have the basket of heels but now these boxes are all my shoes and trainers and heels and things that aren't in my everyday box boots here this is my everyday box of sort of shoes trainers and these are all tom's boxes of shoes underneath here and i think he has some more in the bedroom but <clears throat> Either way, I've completely transformed it and you can sort of see the difference and it's definitely, definitely a lot more tidy. So this is my box of everyday shoes and this is what I think I'm going to go through with you guys now. So for starters, this is a lot more tidy and I much, much appreciate it. Much, much appreciate it. I actually cannot speak today. Much prefer it is what I tried to say. So I thought I'd go through quickly. Yeah, basically what's in my everyday shoe box because these are shoes I wear every day, funnily enough. <laughs> and they're also ones that are basically just staples. I have had these maybe for who knows how long because they're my go-to everyday shoe. They last a long time, they go with everything. They are staples to my wardrobe that I sort of need because I go to them every single day, do you know what I mean? So let's start with a classic 
some tatty old <laughs> white Stan Smiths because you cannot go wrong with these shoes. Um, they are great everyday trainer. As you can see, mine are a bit worse for wear, but I think if I give these a bit of a scrub, they should be fine. Um, everyday shoes, just perfect, honestly. Um, they go with everything, skirts, trainers, joggers, dresses, um, jumpsuits, boiler suits. I don't even know what else you could wear. They go with everything, so they are great. Nike Air Force, again, another great pair of shoes. I know most people own the white pair, but I actually got this pair for my birthday, I think last year, maybe the year before. Um, and Tom got me them in a different color just because he thought I might want something different to everybody else, which I appreciate. Um, but again, even though these are brown, they still go with a lot of stuff, to be honest. Uh, jeans, dresses, trousers, joggers, whatever I said before these go just as well and they're very very comfortable shoes for some reason they've got really long laces like look at these i really don't understand why they've got such long laces um great shoes anyway and i would definitely recommend everybody knows how much people love the white air force which everyone tends to wear i would really like a pair with like a colorful swoosh tick whatever people call it um so i think i'm gonna look into getting the pair maybe this spring Gym trainers now are pair would be trainers i would go to every single day for a workout and for when i go to the gym obviously we're not doing that these days which is fine um but i wear these when i do my home workouts like these are great trainers for the gym they are adidas pods i believe they're called you know with like i think they were called the pods pods something pod really comfortable trainers um i would say they don't have that much support though so these are probably good for possibly weightlifting but this is not very supportive around your ankle it doesn't keep your ankle in very well i don't think it's not very supportive um so just sort of bear that in that in mind um structure of them isn't very supportive so i don't think they're that great for like running because they're quite they can be quite slippery um as you can see this is just very flexible and sort of maybe too flexible um yeah so very comfortable because they've also got that really cool spongy foamy sole so they're very comfortable for the gym and i would recommend them for say weightlifting more than i would intense sort of cardio would you believe i actually picked these up in a charity shop so they're air force one mid maybe i don't think they're high tops i think they're mid um i i love i love these and i really want to get a pair of the nike jordans but if i don't wear these ones then i'm not going to fork out for some jordans so i'm trying to wear these more and see if i would enjoy wearing these and then maybe I'll pay, uh, pay for the Jordans. But um, the only thing I don't like about these is this sort of like extra, I'm not really sure what it is. It's like extra, is it extra support? I don't really see the point in this design. That's the only thing I don't like about it. So um, I'm thinking of maybe just cutting it off, to be honest. Maybe just there. Um, but uh, yeah, these are quite cool. I think they look awesome with joggers. I think they'll look really cute with shorts in the summer when we can go outside. Um, shorts, sort of long socks. I think they look cute. So I'm trying to wear these more to get myself into sort of, yeah, into the trend of wearing the mid style. So maybe I'll get a pair of Jordans that you've seen absolutely everyone wear on Instagram. And I know you have. <laughs> these are, do you know what? I don't actually know what these are. They're Nike Air Force. But they're not Air Force Ones. They're like maybe the mini version. I don't really know what these trainers are. But again, white trainers are, they are like a, an essential piece to everybody's wardrobe because they will go with absolutely anything. White and maybe black trainers go with absolutely everything, I won't lie. And I think everybody needs a pair. Um, I am a bit of a trainer fiend by the look of it. But to be fair, I think I get that from Tom as well because he's obsessed with buying trainers, as we can see. So... <laughs> This is why this might be a bit excessive for some people. Um, Adidas Youngs, I was obsessed with these when they came out maybe a year ago. Um, I really wanted the Falcons, but for some reason I didn't get them and I got the Youngs instead. I think the Youngs were like a cheaper version, I won't lie, but <laughs> I don't really care because these are super comfortable and I wear these all the time. You probably, if you do follow me on Instagram, I wore these all the time last year, like literally all the time. And to be fair, I still go to wear them. They're very comfortable trainers. I think I've sort of worn them way too much that they've sort of lost their shape. They don't look as sort of as neat and as clean as they did, obviously, when they were brand new. Um, but still very, very comfortable trainers. And because they were so comfortable, I actually bought a second pair. <laughs> the reason I bought these pair, this pair, was because I saw Kylie Jenner wear them. Sorry. Not ashamed at all. 
not at all. I bought these because I saw Kylie Jenner wearing them. And that's about it. <laughs> but again, even though um, she did wear them in like one Instagram photo, I bought them. Um, that's how influential she is. <laughs> I love these trainers. I think they're so comfortable. And like I said, with the black ones, you need a black and a white pair of shoes. You do, you really do. And these are great trainers. If you can still get them, I will link them below as well as everything else that I have spoken about. Another pair of great Adidas trainers are Adidas NMDs. I wore these to work all the time, like to Costa, which is probably why they look like I trod in just loads of mud because it's just coffee <laughs> from work. Um, very comfortable trainers. These are great in the gym because I think they've got just more support. This isn't as flexible as it is on the pod, the pod trainers, and these are just, yeah, very flexible. Therefore, they're good for sort of, I would say they're good for running because they're not heavy and they're very soft and spongy um, and the heel has way more support than the pods do just for a heads up if you're looking for any trainers i like nmds in the gym i think they're great for both weightlifting and cardio and last but not least another pair again of white shoes but i think ones that everyone must own if you don't if you're not an adidas person or whatever converse are a great pair of shoes if you're not into nike or adidas or anything else I've, I've shown here i'm sure you own a pair of converse because these are great shoes to wear and i think ones that people need again they're a staple um for especially for spring summer i think they're a really nice summery shoe i know you can get really cool colors of these and um, likewise with the vans version um you can get great colors of vans and converse i don't actually own Bands. Oh, I do for work, but I don't. I'm, they're just not that comfy for me. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I think it's just the soles a bit hard. Likewise with these, I think it can be quite hard. The sole can be quite hard, and there's not that much cushion between you and the floor. Um, I've got quite arched feet, so they don't really tend to like. God, I'm chucking them everywhere. They don't tend to like Converse as much because they're quite flat. Um, whereas all the other shoes that I have sort of mould to my feet, do you know what I mean? Um, but anyway, Converse, a great pair of shoes to own. I would also like to say a great pair of shoes to own is a pair of boots. Um, these are just black, <laughs> black chunky boots. What would you call them? They're not Chelsea boots, they're like biker boots, I guess. Um, really, really great, comfy shoes. Um, and likewise, I own a pair that look just like DMs, but they are not. Um, <laughs> these are for my sort of first great dupe of the Doc Martens. I think that is also an essential There's also an essential pair of shoes that you should own in a staple wardrobe just because again boots go with everything when it's maybe a little bit you want to wear you want to dress up a little bit but you don't want to wear like heeled boots or anything like that a chunky boot is great because these will go with your dress jeans skirt things like that but you don't want to wear trainers because they're too casual it's a sort of perfect mix between casual and smart yeah that is my everyday shoe collection and sort of go-to type of shoes um also wanted to say that you do not have to have this much i just wanted to put that out there obviously these are shoes that i've like collected if you like because i do collect my items <laughs> evidently um i do collect my clothes and shoes and things like that so it's not an it's not essential for every to own this many shoes or more or less or whatever that doesn't really matter i just have a selection because i collect things you know i have a bit of an issue when it comes to shoes and buying things i am a bit of a hoarder you might say Sh shopaholic you might say make it <laughs> myself look a little bit better for the outro but anyway there you have it guys that is the wardrobe declutter complete um i didn't declutter that much but i did tidy which was nice um so it's all tidy and ready to go for whenever i may shop and add more stuff to it um so yeah let me know what you thought about this video i do hope you enjoyed it um give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe below because that would mean the world to me i hope you're all doing well and yeah you just enjoy this chill content that i'm trying to create <laughs> to make myself not so bored as well um yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I will hopefully see you in my next video.